This video is now brought to you by GeekRetreat.com What's up people, Dr. Wolves is right here and welcome to the month of May. Also June if you guys want to know. You might be thinking, when you talk about two different months, Dobsy, what's going on? Well, as you guys saw, if you guys looked at my recent po posts around January, I actually completed the Celebration Collection. Yes, I got every single product that ever got released in the United Kingdom. There may be some extra little bits in Japan and America, but like I said, we're not Japanese and American, so we don't get them. For some weird reason, we did get some of their stuff, but all the other stuff never did. And I'm pretty much you guys might be thinking, what are you missing from the other countries? It's pretty much the Japanese celebration box, and pretty much the celebrations in the UK is exactly the same, so there's no really any point. But anyhow, just to let you guys know what this is being recording on what day, it is Thursday the 20th January. It's literally three days after my birthday, as you guys know, 26 now. Now, I've been waiting to do this since Celebration got released. And as you guys know, Celebrations got released during COVID-19. We're all still living in it. You guys know the gist. And when that happened, inflation rose up, scalpers were rising, and demand was in absolute full throttle. Meaning, Celebrations was sold out the whole country. Meaning, the whole world. Everybody was buying them, including non-Pokemon fans. They were buying them and selling them all on eBay to make a quick few quid. That's the main fact about it, and it's 100% true. However, for me, thanks to Geek Retreat, mwah, love you guys to bits. You are awesome. One of my favourite shops on this channel as well. And I would definitely would say one of the best shops out there now to get Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Definitely check them out. It's where all my stuff is coming from. And thanks to them, I did it. Now, there was one product, like I said, that took me a long time to get it. And that was the Pikachu V Union. It sold out in the whole entire country. We never got it. In. We supposed to get that box in the first wave of celebrations. We waited a whole year to get it. And it was turns out it was the final celebrations product. Luckily, I got my hands on some. Now, I'm going to show you what is going to be opened up during May and June. So let's get this underway because there's a lot of pr products to show you and what I'm going to show you as well, I'm going to put them in the, on the tail on the front of the video right now, the RIP price which is the original price on what they were selling for when they first came out to the inflation of the prices now on eBay and Amazon on what people are selling for and actually are selling them. Meaning people are actually buying them at this price. So let me show you the ways okay. Now remember people, I am not showing you all these in order on when they're getting opened up on the channel, so just be bear with me. First up we have ourselves the Dark Sylveon V. And that's pretty much sold for, well I bought these products at £20 a piece. This is how much these sold for, £20 when they first came out. And nowadays these sell for in an inflation of £22. Is it? £25. £25 they sell for in an inflation. Not massively inflated, but still more than what it was originally selling for. And pretty much you get yourself four Celebrations Packs and two normal Booster Packs. Not bad, to be honest. Next up, we have ourselves Lance Chowazar, which is one of the big hitters. This is what a lot of people want. I paid uh, £20 for this as well. Same thing as the Dark Sylveon. This goes up in, in inflation for £34. This sell sold recently for £34 on eBay. Now like I said people, eBay goes up and down every single day. It depends on who's selling and depends on what time the auctions end. So you may be lucky, one day at midnight, you may get one super duper cheap. If you wake up in the 12 o'clock in the afternoon, it'll be very expensive. So make sure you got your times right. The next one is a Zacian level Xbox with a special pin. We opened up one of these a while back because I had an extra one to open up, so I thought to give myself a bit of a taste of celebration. This again, we paid uh, £20 for this one. This one inflates between £25 to £30, depending, like I said, but it's that round about that margin of how much this thing sells for now. Now remember people, if you do ever see these, in Geek Retreat, get them because, like I said, get them while you can because they do sell like hot cakes. 
And but remember though people, they are getting reprinted so make sure you know what a reprint to an original looks like because there always are differences. And the last one of these special boxes is the Dragapult Prime which is people's not favourite one. This is the least favourite one out of the whole entire set. Don't understand why I like the Prime card. And the Dragapult again, I paid £20 for this one. And this one sells for an amount £22. Only £2 up, so pretty much you may even get one of these even cheaper than £20 because it's not a fan favourite. I don't understand why, because you get yourself a Vivid Voltage Pack and two booster packs. Nothing wrong with it, I'm happy with it. Next up, we are opening up a whole case of mini tins. Yes, all eight tins. I bought these around about £9 a piece, so I got a whole case of them. So the mini tin altogether, I paid £72 for this box. And nowadays, the inflation is now £130 with a £20 postage. So that's 150 quid for this tin. This box of tins. 150 quid for a little small margin of box of packs. Insane. So yeah. If you do see any of them, definitely go and pick them up. But like I said though, inflation of single tins, depending on what tin it is, they go up in value. Some of them go for nine, some of them go for 10. Some of them have been selling for 25 pound a piece. Insane. Ugh. Next up, the one that almost got away from me. Pikachu V Union, last thing that ever got released on Celebrations. Thank you once again, Geek Retreat, for hunting these down for me. Now I paid this for $31.99. Absolute amazing price, people. Seriously an amazing price. The inflation of these products now, they go from a margin of around about 45 to 60 pounds nowadays on eBay. Ooh, that hurts, people. That really hurts. That's seriously, seriously painful. And like I said, this has been pre-recorded. Think about months ahead now and how much these ones are worth now. Oh, it's going to be a kick of the balls. <laughs> Next up, we have ourselves these tins. Now, these post have been American exclusive. However, in the UK, we got them. How? Don't ask me. Geek Retreat got them and also Game got them and some other retails got them. But, I, like I said, I get mine from Geek Retreat. And I paid, I think if I remember by the look of my old receipts, I got these tins for £25 a piece. The Stark Sylveon retails nowadays for 35 and same thing goes to the Charizard. They ran about that same margin, if I recall. Yes. Yep, 100%. Both of them now retail now for £35 a piece if you see them on eBay. That's how much they work nowadays. I pay 25 for them, so up by 10 quid, that's insane. And then we have ourselves the lunchbox, aka the treasure chest. I paid um, £30 for this, and now it retails now for 40 So once again, it goes up a little bit in value. Like I said, though, people, you can see what is the demand of different products. Some of them are going skyrocketing in price, and some of them, they're not really bothering. Next up, we have ourselves, of course, the OG, the one that everybody wanted, the Elite Trainer Box. Now, the Elite Trainer Box first came out, and it was $49.99. Nowadays, these inflate around about 65 I've seen some of them sell for 90 quid, but that must be extreme inflation. But the main ones always round about the margin of the £65 mark, so if you do see them in the shops and they're around about $49.99, get yourself a box, they're worth it. Next up, a product, sadly, just telling you right now, I did not get this from Geek Retreat. This is a massive shout out to a YouTuber called Randolph Pokemon, aka one of the Sidemen. Yes, much love to you, Randolph. Thank you so much for telling, this, telling me about this. This is the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box for Celebrations. The UK has finally got a Pokemon Center. How on earth have we got one? I do not know, but it, at the moment it is a internet website. Nothing else, no shop. But when there is a shop, I'm definitely getting myself there. But this is the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. If I remember on the website, they were selling them for um, $54.99, a little bit more pricier because there is more stuff in it. But these now resale on eBay for £80 around, around 80 quid. Holy shit, people, that's insane. Next up, we have ourselves the Pikachu VMAX figurine. Now, this one I paid 
$49.99, around about 50 quid. But nowadays, this thing sells for £70 on eBay for the inflation. So the inflates are quite insane. Next up, we got ourselves an exclusive. This is once again, this one was not from Geek Retreat, but a shout out to them like I always do because I advertise them. But a shout out to Game and Amazon. Now this is actually what I call a game exclusive, but also Amazon sold these as an exclusive, so it wasn't really exclusive. But only them two shops in the UK only had them. I think in America it was just Amazon Prime, but in the UK it was Amazon and Game. And this I bought in-game, and if I remember, this sold, I bought for $49.99. And this thing sells for 70 as well. And you might be thinking, what is in this? There's a lot of stuff. There's a Dragapult Prime box inside it. There's um, a few other stuff in it. Some stuff is actually unique to this box. So if you want to get the full collection, you have to buy this. So just to keep an eye out. But, 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 there is the main product of the series. This box right here is the ultra premium Deluxe, finger licking, mmm, KFC fucking, <laughs> I'm joking. This is the ultra premium deluxe edition of Celebrations. This is the cream of the crop, this is the creme of the creme. This is the Cadillac of Pokemon Celebration boxes. This is the Ferrari of Pokemon deluxe collections of everything. I paid £150 for this box. Yeah, it's a lot of money. But nowadays this thing sells for around about £300. Oh my god, that's insane! Around about Christmas, just to let you guys know, one sold on eBay for £600. I know that the inflation is going up and down like crazy, but like I said, some of them go up in value depending on the condition of the box. This one right here, I won't keep because it has riffles at the front. So this would be around about a £250 box, not a £300. If you have one that is literally pristine condition, no tears, no ribs, nothing like that, it's going to be high up in value because a lot of people are actually getting these graded by sealed product websites. Don't understand me why, but it, they are. But really, that is all the products. And just to let you guys know, how many products is there in this pack opening series of celebrations? There's 13 booster packs. I mean, 13 products. Holy shit, people. 13 booster, booster sets. But that's going over through two months, people. And there might be a few little extra booster packs along the way to fill up the rest of the month. But anyhow, that's what I have to say to you, people. And if you guys want to know on how much the all the whole region of what I paid for for the whole entire set, and then how much they are actually now worth, they're right here. Oh my god, my bank account! Oh. <laughs> Ouch! Anyhow. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to this series, I'm very sure you are. You may be thinking, what is my goal? My goal is to get the whole entire set. Hopefully more than once, but I doubt it. I just like to get the whole entire set. Without further ado, the people I'm a salute goes to you guys for subscribing, and I'll see you guys for celebrations. Cheerio! I like getting these, these are nice. I do have a clue what the volumes are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah! Ah!